Good time zone, everyone. Freebird here, back with another New World video. Um, this one is going to be about mining, and more specifically, how to begin leveling mining efficiently. Um, there are a couple different routes that you can use that I want to showcase for you. Um, the first one being more of a beginner route um, to kind of give you a, a place to kind of go and hang out and, um, you know, check every, you know, hour or so to get, to get your mining leveled up. Um, because a lot of people are rejoining the game due to the rise of the Angry Earth expansion. And we've seen a lot of people commenting, hey, I don't really know where to go to mine. Hey, I don't really know where to go gather a bunch of different resources, stuff like that. So I figured, hey, I know a couple different routes we can go, and I might as well show them off. So we're going to start our journey down here in Windsworth. And you're going to travel, fast travel to their area, their main hub here. And once we get here, um, we are going to take a look at the map. I want to show you where we're going to be focusing our efforts today. So our efforts are going to be focused kind of in this circle right here, but realistically about the top half of the circle. So we are going to head out and head that way. And the reason why we're focusing on mining is because mining is one of the harder skills in the game to level because there aren't a lot of low-level, dense node populations in the game. Now, keep in mind, New World is a, is a live service game, and it is a shared world live service game. Therefore, if you are in the same area as somebody else, and you're both trying to go after the same node, you both cannot pick it up at the same time. Um, so the first spot we're going to go to once we leave the area... We're going to go basically almost straight down into this little section here. And we're going to grab these two nodes right here. Oh, some are bugged. Uh, sometimes the larger ones are bugged, and that's okay. You can just try it from a different angle. If it doesn't work, you can always come back to it later. And we're going to walk straight up. Straight up here. Let's grab these two here. These are usually silver. All right, and then we're gonna take a we're just gonna go from there. We're gonna take a right. They're gonna be the two nodes that are here. Not ah, three nodes. Four. Four. Excuse me. There are four of them. I haven't seen four here in quite a while. Oh. There we go. And if anything attacks you, just feel free to attack it. Um, it's also a good way to get skinning up. And then we're going to come uh, straight over here. Usually there are a couple right here. Yep, there's iron veins right here. We just climb up here real quick. We can grab this one. And then from here, I'll show you on the map. We're going to go straight over into this area here. And there's a little spot right here we can jump up. There's going to be a node to greet you right here. And there's one up here as well. Maybe. There we go. If I can walk. And then if we come up here... All 
right, there's usually one right here, but this one's been taken. But just note that one is here. And there's usually one right around here as well. Um, but I'm not seeing it right now, so that one might have been taken as well. So then we're going to walk straight this way towards the lake area. And there's usually about three of them here. So only one is up right now, but you can you usually see about three of them. And then we're gonna come around the left side here. Let's see if these are up. These ones are usually more popular, so they aren't always up. You can see here there's usually one, two, three, three to four here. And then we'll come around the other side of the lake. And then right by this briar patch here, there's usually two or three spots here. Looks like these ones are up. There we go. And then we're going to come... From this spot, we're going to go straight this way a little bit, where my mouse pointer is. And this one I always lose a little bit of track of, but there's a downed tree right next to it. That kind of helps me mark where it's supposed to be if it's not up. I'm not seeing either of them up right now, which is fine. They're usually right around this area if they are up. So then once we've looked over here, we're going to start to take this path up. We're going to go up around here. So I always just look for this little cliff area. We can just climb up right here. This is also a great area to level uh, beginning logging. If you need to get a bunch of wood, that forest uh, is a great area to get to get beginner's wood. And then there's one here. There's another here. Oh, and the word wood is up, so give me one second. There's a nice bit of word wood here. Um, sometimes these ones are up. These ones aren't always up. And we'll cut through the word wood here. To grab these three spots. And then we will climb up through this way. You can climb up here any way you like, really. And we'll climb up here. And there's a spot here. And one right behind it. We come around here, climb up the cliff face, and there's two right here. Oh, three right here. Come over here. We've got two large gold veins. One of these is usually bugged. Sometimes you get lucky and both of them are up. But lately, one of the bigger ones has always been bugged. Now, from here, you've got a bit of a choice. 
Um, you can go left and pretty much end the run. Um, or if you want to do a little bit more climbing, we can go right into the little um, mine area over here. And I'll show you what's there in a minute. But I see that the big iron one up back here is up, so we'll come and take this one. All right, and then there's one back here. All right. And then we'll go back around sort of the way we came. Back around this way. And if we climb up into these, uh, into this little cavern area, There are a few spots that are usually up. Take these guys out so they don't bother us. Alright. Climb up here. Yep, there's one right here. And if we just climb up here. There's another one right here. Then, oh, I'm, un I'm encumbered, so I can't jump. Let's see, what can I drop here? What? what don't I need that I can drop? Right, there's one more here. And we can climb back down. And there's one here. Whoops. Hello. Oh, come on, game. Let's fix that. All right. Let's do that again, shall we? One here. And then we come across from here, basically straight across. drop down here and there are star metal veins now you do need to be level 100 to mine star metal sorry uh, it's tier skill 100 to mine star metal but it's a great little spot when you first hit level 100 to get your first bits of star metal And then we're going to go ahead and drop one more time. There are two uh, silver nodes, three silver nodes that are usually here. 
Looks like they're just kind of spot farming them. We'll drop straight back down here. Grab this silver vein here and the one right next to it. All right. Then you can just drop back down. Go straight back into town over here. Drop off your ore. Smelt your ore. Do whatever it is you want to do with it. Sell it. Smelt it. And then go on about your day. Come out here and do some logging or pick some herbs. Do some other things. But if you, we take a look at our inventory real quick. When I started, I had no items in here but the uh, already smelted ore. I got 202 silver ore, 596 gold ore, 762 iron ore, and then a couple other things. I had the platinum ore, and then I got some fey iron as well. Um, so that's about how much you can get in about 10-ish minutes. And usually when I first started out, that was enough to get me from 1 to 100 in about a day of just dedicated farming. Um, but yeah, I forgot to show that to you guys. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. If you like what you see, please you hit the like button and subscribe to follow and follow along for more content. Also check me out over on Twitch. I do live streams three days a week, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays currently. And I love you all very much and I'll catch you all in the next video.